So the California NBA did a great job of pausing what was going to be a special assessment on every servicer in California as much as $90,000 per service. I mean, it's huge. It's a huge number. Get ready for a new episode of KP Talks Dollars and Cents. Learn financial literacy and get real-time updates on all things housing, finance, and real estate. So let's get started. Here's your host, Kevin Perenio. Hey, it's KP coming to you live from Napa Valley. I'm here for a board retreat for the California Mortgage Banker Association. It's our board meeting. We have an official board meeting tomorrow. And um, what a fantastic organization. I'm just wrapping up my first full year of being on the board. And, um, man, I got to tell you, you know, California is like uh, almost 30% of the entire mortgage universe in the United States. Think about that. One state. And loan amounts are as big as they've ever been everywhere. Well, obviously, we know there's an affordability issue. Um, and that's one of the things we talk about in these board meetings. We talk about affordability and um, how to tackle those issues. Uh, Cass is one of the best-run state organizations. And this is a Texan admitting how well this California organization has run. Hats off to uh, Susan Malazzo, um, Sam Gallagher, and all the team that works together. Our board is is filled with some some pretty great names. And uh, anyway, we're doing some membership drive for next year. And I hope that anyone that does any business in the state of California, which I can tell you as an outsider, not a Californian uh, by birth, is a very tough state to do business in. And um, I personally uh, went up to Sacramento and, and got to participate in the legislation uh, days where we were lobbying on uh, in Sacramento uh, for the state capitol. And some of these policies that set, they affect the entire nation. They affect everyone's business. You know, how do they look at ADUs? Uh, what's the regulation coming on for ESG, right? Like ESG and mortgages, like we're literally talking about that. Have you been hit with a wage and hour claim? In the state of California, uh, how about, uh, you know, uh, CRA, Community Reinvestment Act type requirements in each state? These are things that this organization helps us do, uh, helps us lobby for or against. And it's great to have a, a, a very well-run organization that puts on some great events. Speaking of great events, for those that um, know, the Western Secondary is just a huge event. Uh, the California NBA puts that on and um, it will be at Terranea in Rancho Palo Verde uh, this coming year. And the Mortgage Innovator Conference, um, it's a great tech show. Um, it's a couple months after the ICE experience. So it's in May, um, I believe May 19th, um, if I got those dates correct. Um, more to come. Uh, Paul Gelati, uh, you know, former uh, COO of Pinnacle, he uh, is on the committee and chair uh, for that. Um, last year, uh, the last year um, session was with Margaret Schiavarini. She's amazing. Um, and um, I was asked today to help co-chair and uh, be on stage for the Mortgage Innovator Conference. So it would be good to get some some tech and innovative sponsors out there, some lenders, some great um, great group together, and uh, make that show even bigger. So, uh, by the way, we are at Silverado Estates. Check this place out. I want to give you a little background. You don't want to hear KP rambling here. Remember, it's it's not a good video if I don't give you some good good views. Look at this beautiful estate. It's, uh, it's old school because they have three tennis courts here and they have not converted them to pickleball yet. But sometimes it's good to have some things old school, right? Apparently this is wine country. Uh, got a beautiful sunset back here. Okay, what's going on? In, by the way, we're someone from the board uh, is uh, going to put for California NBA a membership link below. So please, please, please sign up. Get your sponsorships in. We're going to make this next year badass. Rates are coming down. Next year's going to be good. It's going to be so good. It's not too late to start investing in tech and in your company. And, uh, you know, if you do any business in the state of California, it's not too late to start investing in the way we operate and be a part, be a voice, have a seat at the table. Man, I know how some people feel about politics, especially going into election year. We're jaded. Our voice doesn't matter. It does matter. It matters. Uh, the state tried to do an assessment. And this board, Susan Malazzo and team, got the assessment put on hold to be discussed. Like, what are you assessing us for? Because we have, you know, uh, you know, this kind of license, uh, you know. So anyway, there, there's a lot of good stuff they're doing. Uh, okay, this is Jobs Week. And there's a lot of jobs data that comes out. And um, during Jobs Week, we get the November 
jobs report. Okay. And so the reason I always put the air quotes is because it's like the last half of October and the first half of November data being collected. How many jobs were created in America? What's the unemployment rate? I heard a clip on CNBC today. It said 204 uh, for 2024, right? So um, I think it was 2024 actually, right? So uh, we're going to get down to 2% inflation. We're going to be at um, zero as in there's no recession. And two, as in we'll have it uh, two percent uh, GDP, and uh, four was uh, the unemployment rate will be in the fours. It was pretty interesting. So that's your twenty twenty four. That was some kind of creative little thing there. So instead of an acronym, they took the year and said that's the kind of year we're going to have a two. Actually, they said two zero four. I made up two zero two four. So I just threw another one in there. Um, so anyway, if we're going to have a soft ish landing, and I, I will contend the soft landing's over. How hard will it get from here? We're going to find out with data. By the way, jobs opening labor turnover report, the JOLTS report, that came out today. 8.7 million jobs open. Down, supposed to be like 9.4, okay? Like 500,000 less jobs than expected open. That's a softening labor market. So we're in this weird in-between zone where, you know, softening labor is good for inflation, and not good for the economy. So are we in a recession, going into recession, the most longest talked about, built up ahead of time recession ever that we have not gone into yet technically. So uh, when jobs are softening, that's great. Maybe the Fed will bring rates down, which could then impact obviously mortgage interest rates, which obviously impacts us. But if we go deeper into a recession and the landing gets harder, well, then rates come down even more. And it's great for housing, but it's not great when millions of people can't find work. And so again, I contend that our industry will be hiring first, like they always do when we go into, if we go into a recession um, compared to other uh, industries. So uh, ISM services data was pretty interesting. Um, uh, it was uh, about at an expectation. And the reason that's important is because services inflation has been the most sticky component. Non-housing services has been the most sticky component when it comes to inflation in our country. And number came in an expansion, 52.7, I think, about where they expected. So um, softening jobs report. We'll see the big jobs report on Friday. We'll get back out to you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. It is December. It is game on. California MBA, we're here working for you. For everyone in the country, if you do any business whatsoever in the state of California, you need to get your membership renewed. And if you've never joined, jump in there. I'm all in. Let's all get in together. Cheers. Hey, it's KP coming to you live from Newport Beach. Do a little walk and talk here on a Friday afternoon. I know I normally put a video out Thursday evening, but I want to catch um, the jobs report because it's so important. Uh, it was so important that they skipped it for uh, the first Friday of the month, last Friday the 1st, until today, the 8th. And um, very, very interesting uh, to see that the trend for jobs is still um, down. So uh, 199,000 jobs were created in the month of November. I say November in air quotes, remember, because <clears throat> that's um, the second half of October and the first uh, half of November, the data is collected. And, um, and so uh, a prior revision uh, again happened. So 35,000 jobs were revised from the prior reports. So uh, we'll see if something gets revised on this one that just came out at 199,000 uh, jobs. So still under 200. Wage inflation growth. Remember we talked about that being a sticky component of inflation that the Fed is trying to fight? And um, uh, it was up 4% year over year. So that's the the data there. So, um, you know, there's still some wage inflation. There's some job growth. Uh, unemployment rate went from 3.9% to 37 So we're going to have to look and dig and see how many people are leaving the workforce yet again. And remember in my last video, I talked about that 2024 for 2024, um, the trend that the CNBC analyst said that <clears throat> the four is that we'll have an unemployment rate in the 4% range. So not quite there yet. By the way, happy Hanukkah. Uh, this is day two for the Festival of Lights. So happy Hanukkah to those out there. Uh, my partner, Gary Malice, uh, he's uh, one of the four partners here at PRMG, celebrating and got to leave early and light some candles yesterday and... Uh, to all of our uh, our Jewish uh, colleagues and friends and family uh, that are watching this LinkedIn, um, you know, uh, 
We stand solidly with you. So, uh, happy Hanukkah. Let's make the most of this. All right. So I had two sessions today and then another session earlier this, uh, this week with um, the MBA, Mortgage Banker Association. <clears throat> um, got to film uh, some content uh, with Ashley over there uh, for her Wisdom Wednesday. So uh, we have the Independent Mortgage Banker Show in New Orleans coming out next month. Um, and we talked about that. We talked about being on social media and being visible and um, getting some, some nuggets out for the young professional group. She works with the Impact Group, which is great. Um, and, um, and then I had a session two hours before that <clears throat> with the team at NBA, um, you know, so, uh, Tamara Williams, um, the other Ashley and, uh, Don, um, together with Greg Scherer and, uh, Laura Hopkins and Ali Carty. And so we're going to do a session at the IMB on, uh, social media. And, um, this is kind of cool. I'm in like a little tower, a little tunnel here. Anyway, um, so we're doing a social media session on, uh, I believe the Tuesday right after lunch. So the first breakout session. So, uh, uh, Greg and I and, and Garth Graham got to do it, um, earlier this year, um, at the, uh, Coronado Island IMB. And so we're running it back and we're going to have even more to talk about, you know, a year later touch base. Um, and so, uh, look, please make sure those uh, that have not joined, um, uh, uh, both the California MBA and the national MBA, especially if you're an independent mortgage banker. So let's talk about a little a little recap from the Cali uh, the California MBA. We had our board retreat and our board uh, of directors meeting for the year, and we had a legislative update. This is pretty important because, you know, even if you're not a California-based lender, something like almost thirty <clears> percent <throat> of all of uh, the mortgage universe is in California. Uh, by the way, I I would normally walk down to the back bay, but there's so much construction and noise going on. I don't want to ruin my 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 sad little Friday video here. Um, so, uh, there's a, there's a great KP consulting, not KP me, but like Louie KP consulting out of Sacramento, um, is a great group that helps lobby on behalf of the California mortgage banker association. And so again, about 30% of the entire universe is based in California and what goes on in California, you know, it does impact the rest of the mortgage and, and real estate, um, industries. So uh, it's important to be involved in the California MBA. It's important to be a member. Um, even if, um, you know, you're a vendor, your ecosystem has a lot to do with California. I promise that. Um, and it's not just a song by Red Hat Chili Peppers. Californication is a real thing. And um, so speaking of the legislative updates that are going to potentially spread, sadly, California is like one of the last two states to not adopt remote online notarization. So the bill passed this year, but their tech is so antiquated and what the California, the state of California, <clears throat> they're trying to, you know, keep record, uh, record keeping and documents to upgrade their system to comply with the regulation for Ron. This is going to take them until 2030, which is crazy. So we're going to push on that <clears throat> as an organization. Now, the, the DFPI is the regulatory um, oversight body for licensing. Um, if you have a CFL license, uh, excuse me, um, uh, D there's two different licenses, DRE and, and CFL. And then also the CRMLA, which is for servicers. So the California MBA did a great job of pausing what was going to be a special assessment on every servicer in California as much as $90,000 per service. I mean, it's huge. It's a huge number. And so the California MBA did a great job with their lobbying group to get that paused. So it's a huge win, huge, huge win. Literally, if you're in California and you're in mortgage banking, whether a bank or an IMB and you have a CRMLA license, the CMBA just saved you up to $90,000. So <clears throat> um, they're also pushing on, um, you know, the insurance issues that we have in the state of California. I have property in Florida as well. It's a problem there too. Gosh, it's a problem everywhere right now. These insurance carriers, I don't want to, I don't want to have any more risk in their book, but we're working on it. Um, there is a, a fair plan. Uh, I guess it's like the state run fund if you need insurance for like wild you're in like a wildfire area um the fair plan is a group that you can get good insurance at a decent rate state funded basically here in california but their hold times are like three hours so one of the things is, is trying to work and get resources um to help with the fair plan so just just a few things that uh the california nba is working on okay the fhfa home price index 
I'll just leave you with one last little tidbit here. Um, speaking of California business, by the way, SpaceX is doing a tender offer of $500 million on a $175 billion valuation. It's hard to run a business here, but gosh, they got to raise money too. Even the, the best rockets ever made, California business is out uh, hunting for money. So I thought that was an interesting side note. Okay, so <clears throat> home price index, FHFA. The FHFA is the governing body over Fannie and Freddie. 5.5% home appreciation through the end of the, of the third quarter, year over year. So one year through September, 5.5% appreciation. Remember a year ago when people were freaking out? Oh, I'm just going to wait for home prices to come down. I'm going to wait for rates to come down. Eh, didn't happen. Either one. Neither one happened. Home prices went up. It's going to happen again next year. We're watching rates go down right in front of our face in, in 90 basis points off the 10-year in just 45 days. Interest rates are trending down. Now, you know, they're not going to go straight down. And it's going to take time. Obviously, a Fed rate cut would be the big impetus for uh, rates to come down. But I'm telling you, when they come down sometime, everyone thinks next year, there'll be more demand for mortgages. I mean, home prices will go up again. So anyway, just tell your bars, don't wait. Um, it didn't work last year. It's not going to work this year. This time of year is seasonally soft. If you are hunting for houses, you know people that are, to have them pull the trigger. This is the time to pull the trigger because once New Year's comes up and then the warm weather comes out and if rates go down, it's going to be hard to get under contract to be a lot of competition. Have a fantastic weekend. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Cheers. You've been listening to KP Talks Dollars and Cents, a top rated show for those who want to learn about the economy and mortgage environment. Tune in each week for more episodes and please leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Kevin Perenio does not render or offer to render personalized investment or tax advice through KP Talks Dollars and Cents. The information provided is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial, tax, investment, or legal advice. For more info, follow KP Talks Dollars and Cents on all of our social channels.